guys, so I wanted to share part of a little fun Christmas happy mail that I'm sending to a very sweet pen pal of mine. I'm so excited to send all of this to her. Um, I Both of us love Disney princesses. We'll start with that. And so I just started making shaker pockets and I am in love with making them. They are so fun. And I just went to Hobby Lobby the other day and I bought a ton of different sequins um, to create some of my own mixes. And oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Um, so yeah, I found a lot of Disney Princess um, Christmas pictures and I had them printed off at Walgreens. One thing that I like to do, I don't have a great printer at home. So I created an Instagram account strictly for uploading any pictures that I find on Google or Pinterest that I may want to use for any kind of happy meal. So I just use my Instagram account and then when I go into my Walgreens app, I upload them from my Instagram and then they print out in square sizes like this and they're just four by fours and it's perfect size. So. What I did to make these was I used We Are Memory Keepers um, Instagram photo pockets and I just kind of trimmed around like the edges here and then I fused the top once I put my sequins in. But yeah, these sequins are from Hobby Lobby and I just kind of created my own little mix based on the colors that the pictures were. And these are from Google, like I said. Um, I'm not sure who the artist is, but I love these pictures. They are my favorite. And I love The Little Mermaid. She's my favorite too. So. I'm so excited to send these to my pen pal. She loves Belle. And this was a little fun sequin mix to make too because it wasn't your usual Christmas colors. It kind of reminds, it's kind of like a, I don't know, it just reminds me of a sugar plum. And she's making cookies down here you can see. And it's so fun. I love this picture. And then this is Cinderella. She loves Cinderella too. I love the little bigger gold sequins in there. I thought this was a really fun little mix to make. There's the mice down here. So cute. I love this picture. So that's fun. I may have put too many sequins in these pockets. I'm not sure, but I don't really care. They're so pretty. And then this is one more of Ariel wrapping presents. And yeah. So I love these. These are my favorites. So what I want to do, I'm not going to show it in the video today. I will probably take a picture and share it on my Instagram at Renwood. Um, but what I want to do, I thought it would be so fun to put all of these little shaker pockets and create one big shaker pocket. So I'm going to get a bigger um, sheet protector and put all of these in here somehow, all of those in there somehow, and then put more sequins in, like bigger sequins. And so I will take a picture and hopefully that turns out. I'm not sure. But I wanted to show you all of these individually because they're so cute. I love them. So the next thing that I made her is a little mini flip book. And this tutorial can be found on Sabrina Ann's channel. She actually created this and I thought it was super cute. Um, I have not wrapped these yet. I want to take a couple of pictures and so I haven't put any twine around them or anything like that. But one thing my pen pal, um, or one person my pen pal does love is Jon Snow. <laughs> so I thought it would be fun once I do put the twine around here to put a tag on here. And this is from the Crate Paper um, Snow and Cocoa collection. And it says, hello, Snow. But I wanted to kind of make a little indent here and put, hello, Jon Snow. <laughs> I thought that would be really cute. And then just stick that on there with some twine. But I'm not going to do that yet. I will show you this. I put some Velcro on here just to actually hold it so the twine wouldn't always have to hold it um, and it's just an easy little thing to do. So I did that and then this is the beginning of the inside. These little ephemera bits are from also the Crate Paper Snow and Cocoa collection. And this little reindeer is from Joann's. This whole paper pack, I use three different papers. Um, this pack is from Hobby Lobby. And so yeah, the reindeer is from Joann's. Um, I didn't stuff this full, Sabrina Ann didn't either, and I actually adjusted the measurements to create a bigger um, gusset here than she did. So mine is a little bit bigger than hers, and I find that it actually works a little bit better so you can have a few more things in there without it being like super overcrowded when you go to like put it back to where 
like it closes. So that was helpful. Um, so yeah, again, that is from Joann's. This is from a little holiday pack that I found at Tuesday morning, and that's just a little ephemera card. One thing I did in between each of the gussets was I just put some reindeer washi tape, and then I had some Tim Holtz um, word stickers that I put on there. So I thought that was fun. Um, inside here, I, again, I love creating shaker pockets. So I created um, a whole shaker pocket for her, and there's just that she can open and she can use if she wants to. And then this is a Christmas card that you will probably see in one of my other videos. And I just adhered a little Tim Holtz St. Nick card on there. But this is a playing card that I found at a thrift store. It is so fun. I found the whole set, and I think they're from 1994 or 1995. But they are awesome, and they're perfect for snail mail. So I love that. So I put that in this little pocket, or on top of this little pocket, and then inside... I have some gingerbread cookies since it is a Santa scrapbook paper. I figured Santa needs his cookies, so I thought that was cute. And then just a little red and white candy cane striped paper clip. So, yeah, this was so fun to make and super simple and easy. I love that about this. Like, I didn't feel like I had to go overboard, and because it's mini, like, you don't, you don't have to at all. So I love that. So yeah, there was that. And then the one other thing that I created was a pocket letter. I have never done one of these before and it was so much fun. Um, she loves Halloween, so I thought it was really fun to create um, a Nightmare Before Christmas Halloween pack for her. And um, so yeah, I just had a lot of fun with this. Hold on just a second. I'm gonna plug in my phone so it doesn't die on me while I create this video. Okay, so I, <laughs> I, d I have seen The Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, I think it's really cute. But yeah, being that she loves Halloween, I thought this was so cute and fun to make. This um, paper, this, um, this page is, this protector page is from We Are Memory Keepers. And yeah, so all of these pictures I found off of... Um, Gosh, you're going to love this one. Isn't that so cool? <laughs> All of these pictures are, again, from my Instagram account, and I just upload them to my Walgreens app and then print them off at Walgreens. So this was super clever. I found this on Google. I thought that was awesome. That is so clever, whoever did that. And it reminds me of Prancer. Has anyone ever seen that movie? It's I think it's from 1987, maybe? And it has Sam Elliott. Oh, my gosh. I love it so much. Best Christmas movie ever. And then because, again, we love Disney and we love the Little Mermaid and all the princesses, um, I thought it was so funny and fun that I found this Little Mermaid skeleton. <laughs> I mean, look, like her hand fell off and she has a dingle hopper in it and then, <laughs> like her little bone. And then Flounder and Sebastian. Oh, my gosh. This cracked me up so much. Um, and then down here in the corner, you have Eric with his dog, Max. <laughs> It is so funny, and he's giving Max a bone when he literally is bones. Like, oh my gosh, it's so funny. And then there's another Jack Skellington Santa. So yeah, and then the first, um, I got this washi tape, this the Zoom Zoom, I think that's how you say it. This is the Zoom Zoom Jack Skellington um, washi, and it's from Washi Full on Etsy. And yeah, so her samples are awesome, and she gives you enough for what you need to use it for, so that was really fun. And then this striped washi is just from um, Target. So I just put that on and used my X-Acto knife and my hole punch to get that um, even and perfectly spaced. So that was good. And then these little pockets here, I know a lot of people tend to kind of make their pocket letters 3D. Again, this was my first one that I made, so I kind of forgot about that idea. Um, so technically, like when you see this, this little charm, I probably could have like left that out and stuck it on top of the plastic, but I didn't really think about that. And at this point, I don't really care. I think it worked out really well and it's super cute. And 
So yeah, I just had some black and white paper um, just for Jack, um, the whole movie theme. And so I put that in there and then I just created um, some layering in here. It says Santa Claus is coming to town. I created a little shaker pocket over here with some pumpkins, um, some white and teal or sky teal. I don't know how you, what kind of color that is. Aqua, some aqua sequins and then some Christmas trees from Target. Um, so that's a little shaker pocket. That was fun. I might have put, again, probably too many sequins in there, but I don't really care. <laughs> it was fun. So then the back are more pictures from Hobby Lobby. And I love this one, or Jack and Sally. It's so cute. And then this, um, <laughs> this was so cute too. I thought this would be perfect. If I could, um, I'm going to go to the store tonight and I'm going to find some tea. I don't know if she drinks tea, but I do. So I am wanting to put a tea bag in here just because it's kind of like nighttime. Like Jack just woke up in the middle of the night with zero and like maybe he go, he went to go get some tea or something. I, you know how like people wake up and they drink hot milk or something like that. So I might find something there to like stick inside of here and just kind of put that in there. Um, on this side, I made a shaker pocket again. So they're kind of alternating sides. Like this side was the shaker. Now this side is um, the same black and white paper. I layered over here again. It says twist the night before Christmas. And then again, I pro if I wanted to make it 3D and actually like have things on the outside, I probably could have left this 3D fa -la, la out and put that on top of the plastic, but oh well, I don't really care. Um, I included some, I might decorate this a little bit more, I'm not exactly sure yet, um, but I included some washi tape. I'll get that out in a second. Again, all of this is from Washi Full. Um, I'll get that out in a second because the pockets are on the other side. And then this um, is Jack Skellington as Santa again. <laughs> so let me get that washi tape out for you. This is going to be on this side. So all, again, all the pockets are over here. I'm going to try and get this out. So yeah, it's just a little pocket. It's just plain, so I kind of want to put something on there maybe. I'm not sure. So Washi Full um, sent all of this. The last two, I will say, those are mine. Um, I wanted her, I wanted to gift these top two to my pen pal, um, but in putting it with Jack Skellington, I was like, well, they kind of aren't creepy. So <laughs> I wanted to do like a Christmas theme washi and then like a skull theme washi. So um, but yes, definitely check out Washi Full on Etsy. She's awesome. So I had the Zoom Zoom Jack Skellington um, stuff. And then I don't know if this is Zoom Zoom or not, but it's similar. And it's all the Disney princesses and it's her top three favorites. So I did that. And then this Washi is just like a Storyland theme. There's Beauty and the Beast on the back. She's got some really cute designs. So you all need to check her out. But yeah, and then the skulls. So there's that. So yeah, I just need to get like a tea bag, I think, for that other pocket up top on the other side of this pocket letter, and we will call it good. I'll stick that in there later. But yeah, so that was really fun for me to do <laughs> and new. So yeah, I love I love this washi over here, and it just and I love the washi in the front, and it turned out really well, way better than I expected. So, and the favorite things about this are Eric and Ariel, of course. <laughs> it just cracks me up. So yeah, there was that. And then I'm gonna do a couple more things to this next thing I'm about to show you. Um, but I wanted to give her a little Hello Kitty um, gift bag. I thought that would be really fun to do. So I just, I wasn't intending to really do like a gift, a full gift bag, but I kept collecting all this Hello Kitty stuff and um, it kind of turned into like a big bag. So um, yeah, I just created a little bag flip and then I have like a little bow um, clip here and then some chipboard um, Hello Kitty ephemera here. These are actually nail files. <laughs> I've had these for a long time and I've meant to gift them to somebody, but I just never have and they were perfect. So I just stuck those in there. Um, there's a little Hello Kitty. Um, I don't know if that'll work for you, but she's winking at you. Thought that was cute. And then let's see what else is in here. I went to the Sanrio store in Vegas. My husband had a convention and so I usually go down to, I go with him and then um, I go down to a coffee shop and hang out and then 
one day I went to the Sanrio store um, and it was so fun. I love Sanrio and all their stuff is so cute. So I found a lot of Hello Kitty stuff. And these are scented erasers, um, strawberry and melon. And my friend also loves unicorns. So the fact that she loves Hello Kitty and unicorns, it was, I mean, this is pretty perfect. Hello Kitty riding a unicorn. How better does that get? Um, so then these are, this is cinnamon roll, I believe, stickers. But again, it had like a unicorn. So I was like, even though it's not necessarily Hello Kitty, it's still cute. This was my favorite thing. So I'm not going to take it out because it's for her. But it, again, it's Hello Kitty and a unicorn. It's washi tape. Can you see that? That is so cool. I am so excited to give this to her. Her birthday is Christmas Eve. So that's why she's getting a lot of this fun stuff and all of it. It's so fun. And then a Hello Kitty notepad. And I think that's it. Yeah, I didn't really decorate the back here. I've been kind of running out of time and I figure it's good enough. But I am, again, not done with this. One thing I want to do is I want to create like a little rosette. And you will see a picture of it on my 